Brady Clark stays in the ball game. Clark is your center field, and here is Jose Rijo facing Bernie Williams. Jose has pitched well enough to make this roster, whether it be in the bullpen or as a starter. He wants to do it as a starter, and there's the reason why. Five innings, no hits, and four strikeouts. Can't ask him to do more than that, can you? And no walks. He's a guy that has been able to show some of these younger arms the guys that throw harder and can spin the ball up there better that it's more important to select location in fact he calls himself a new real estate agent Jose does location 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 he's really yet to pull out his fork ball very much he was kind of tentative to use that and early on he wasn't using much of his slider he was going kind of with all fastball changing speeds but as he's gotten deeper and deeper into the spring he's using more of his own pitches and tell you what he looks good he just looks good. Here's Giambi, and there's no easy walk through this inning. Giambi and Posada will follow one away. Giambi today, a double and a fly ball to center. Double in the alley, the fly ball to the warning track in right center. You know, there's a time that Jose Rijo would challenge somebody with a 90 plus fastball and then drop one of the best sliders in the game on you. But now he's simply trying to give the hitter the opportunity to get himself out. He broke into the major leagues after being traded from Oakland to the Yankees at the same year that Doc Gooden did for the New York Mets across town. Back then it was 95 96. He relied on the fastball now. In fact, he always said in spring training he threw usually 60 to 70 percent fastballs. This year, he's probably throwing maybe 15 to 20 percent fastballs. A whole different Jose Rijo, but what you got between the ears is what gets people out. Two balls, two strikes. And you can't say enough about what he does for some of the young pitchers, not just talking about getting people out, but also in their conditioning routines. Sky to right. Is there room? Does it drop? Yes, it does. There's Raul Gonzalez who's in in right field. He takes over for Encarnacion. Buki Dawkins is now your second baseman. Castro still at short. Boone's over at third. Other changes for the Reds. And Kelly Stinnett's behind the plate. So there are your changes as we head towards the sixth inning, and there's two away. And here's Posada. Posada strikeout and a ground out. Chris Widger, the former Montreal catchers in town, as a possible backup. So is Alberto Castillo and Todd Green. And it's still a pretty heated race to the game. whoever will back up Posada, but it's pretty clear he'll catch the vast majority of games unless that shoulder does act up again. Special moments in any baseball season for a lot of us last year that first time Jose Rijo trotted out of the bullpen after the surgeries and the rehabbing and all the work might have been the most special moment of the 2001 season. Can you ever remember rooting and pulling for a player harder than you sure. did when Jose took the man that night. That was a special night Dave Drevecki very similar when Drevecki came back. Beloved in Cincinnati and in a whole lot of other places too. <laughs> he got him just like that. Another one, two, three for Jose Rijo. Yep, number 27 still getting people out. Here we go to the seventh.